Welcome back. Uh, antique art and design has been the order of the day with organizers describing it as a boutique style celebration of the vast history of design, past, present and future. That's the South African Antique Art and Design Association Cape Town Expo, which kicked off on Friday and comes to an end at the lookout at the VNA waterfront today. To tell us more. Uh, we are joined from our Seapoint studios by uh, Paul McCusick, who is the CEO of the South African Antique Art and Design Association. Paul, thank you very much for joining us on Morning Live. Maybe let's ask the very obvious question, the inspiration uh, about around wanting to expose South African antiques, art, and, and design? Well, thanks for having me. Um, it's something that we've been doing for quite a long time. Our association is um, more than 50 years old, uh, so it's been running for a long time, and essentially it's a collection of the top um, dealers around South Africa, both in antiquities, um, art galleries, and also people who uh, deal in 20th century design. But that's early iconic pieces. Um, so it's really a, a, a sort of an annual collection of the top pieces that our dealers collect and then put them out on display in one of the, uh, in one of the loveliest venues in, in the country and in, indeed in Cape Town uh, for the public to come and, and look at and, and perhaps purchase if they'd like to. Paul, I want to talk to you very quickly about the audiences because from my own personal experience, I know a lot of young people that have switched on to antiques in a crazy kind of way. Not only from a, an investment perspective, but they, an actual fact, follow antiques, they understand the history. Did you see that in kind of the attendances, a lot more young people coming through? You are starting to see that. I mean, we really appeal to people of uh, all age groups, uh, from young till the elderly. And I think um, it's, it is something that, that is uh, appealing more to, to younger people. Um, I think young people are looking for things that they can relate to and that they uh, give them a context of, of where they've uh, grown up and the things that they've got. And items that uh, tell a story, and really that is, that is what we have. Every piece at the fair... Uh, and at the exhibition, whether it's uh, coins or whether it's um, Asian artifacts or whether it's furniture, um, it, everything tells a story. Uh, and it's something that you can find a personal relationship to the piece with it. Does the expo also, for those that are quite uh, layman, does it define what an antique is? Because I obviously I grew up in, in, uh, in, in Cape Town and anything that's old, my grandmother would describe as an antique. And I'm not sure she had the correct definition. Well, I mean, it's strictly speaking, the definition of an antique is something that's more than 100 years old. Uh, but I think we see that uh, we, we take a slightly looser view on that now because I think items that have made even uh, 10, 20 years ago can have a lot, especially when you look at how quickly things evolve and how design evolves. Uh, you know, not long ago, we didn't have things like iPhones and iPads. Um, so really, the, 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 the way of uh, design has evolved uh, really, that's what antiques, the, the world of antiques, uh, celebrates. Um, so we, we look at things far more recently and, and we see that they, you, you know, they, they do have a, a place in that design evolution history. Uh, so everything gets celebrated, really. Uh, but we, you know, we go th way back, we've got a collection of uh, coins from City Coins in Cape Town um, of some of the earliest uh, pieces that, uh, that people used at the time uh, in terms of currency, um, bef before even coins, hmm. uh, so they use shells and beads, etc. So, anything from from uh, hundreds of years ago. Uh, then we've got items that from the sixteenth uh, and seventeenth century, eighteenth century, all the way to modern design, where the items from the last, say, twenty uh, to fifty years. It's quite, uh, a it's term quite, that we like to yeah. use actually is, is vintage. I think uh, that's, uh, that really encompasses everything uh, that we talk about. It's quite easy to look at the word expo and forget that we're dealing with a curatorship on a large scale because what you really want to do is create an experience for, for the expo goer. So talk, take me through that. And, and, and I know the v Waterfront is an iconic venue, a world-class venue, but I, I think it's important... Uh, for you as the CEO to have an event that's fresh. Absolutely, and I think that's why we look at uh, having uh, different spaces uh, from time to time, and, and certainly we've got the most spectacular venue with the lookout uh, overlooking Granger Bay, 
Uh, it, it sets a spectacular scene for, for what we try and do. Uh, you, you know, between each booth, you can see uh, um, the, the ocean and the bay in front of, of Cape Town. Uh, and in some ways it evokes, especially when you see some of the arts uh, on, on display, it evokes, uh, you almost can imagine those old sailing ships uh, in Cape Town in the bay from uh, 200, 300 years ago. Um, so there's a real sense of history then, and, and it does keep it fresh. Each year we, uh, we try and uh, hand select our exhibitors. There's uh, a good range. Uh, we usually have about 20 to 30 different dealers, but it really varies in, in terms of what you'll see. Uh, we've got uh, contemporary art, but then we've got uh, people who deal in the most extraordinary things. Uh, when you look around, um, almost anywhere you look, you can pick something up and, and, and there's a story that gets told and you engage with uh, the, the exhibitor who's selling those items to find out more about them and, and get a sense of, of the history that each piece uh, sort of holds in it. Paul, we're going to leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us. He's talking to us from our Seapoint studios. It's Paul McCursh. He's the CEO of the South African Antique Art and Design Association, speaking to us about the Cape Town Expo, which currently is underway at the lookout at the V&A Waterfront, which is uh, or has a fantastic selection of uh, antique art and design dealers.